Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I got another jeans and boots video for you. Today we're gonna be looking at this Wrangler five-star regular fit jean with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes so you can see if this jean is gonna be right for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me and also like and comment down below. I always love hearing your thoughts about the jeans and the boots that I cover on this channel. I'm slowly working my way through all of the Wrangler's jeans to see how they work with different kinds of cowboy boots. And I recently got the request to do a video on the five star line. So I have the regular fit here and before we try on any of these boots, we gotta break down the details of this jean with the rundown. All right, this is the Wrangler Five Star Regular Fit Jean, and this is the dark stonewash color. It is 100% cotton, and it's kind of a nice weight denim as well at 14 and a half ounces. Plus, there's lots of sizes. I was able to get a 32, 36, but the waist sizes from what I saw on Wrangler.com go all the way up to 60 and the length inseam sizes go all the way to 38. The fit of this jean is described as the rise being a higher rise and also a straight leg. Also on Wrangler.com it says that this has a 16 and a half inch leg opening for boots. These jeans also feature a zip closure these Wrangler Five Star jeans are made in Mexico and they're coming in at $24.99 over at Wrangler.com. And if you guys like what you see here on this channel week in and week out, you can help support it even more with my new line of merch, Old Boots Got Soul. So if you like this t-shirt, you can head on over to jeremiahcraig.com slash OBGS and get your own. And there's also some other cool merch featuring this design there as well. Now it's time to try on these jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. All right, let's kick things off with a roper style boot. This is an Ariat Heritage roper with a roper round toe and a roper heel, kind of shorter. And it comes in at around 10 inches tall. So not bad. And one of the things that I'm always concerned about with jeans like this and shorter boots is the bucket effect, right? Where the jeans sort of sag into the tops of the boots. That's not happening with these jeans, which is really nice and I like to see it. Well, I guess it is maybe happening now after they're sort of settling in, but it's not that bad. And just right off the bat, I'm noticing that the thighs are kind of tight for me, at least in these. So definitely some breaking in for these, but also the pockets are different from lots of other Wranglers. They're deep. That's one of the things that kind of bothers me about like the 13 MWZ and some of the other Wranglers is that those pockets are so short and they're not very <laughs> spacious. I like to have space in my pockets if I'm gonna have pockets. And I know maybe shallow pockets would be good for horseback riding or other things, but uh, you know, I like my pockets deep. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments. Now let's try this jean with more of a Uto cowboy boot style. All right, here we have a Hondo 2670. It features a Uto and a two inch heel, and it comes up 14 inches tall. Look at that beautiful red top, yes. So this is a proper cowboy boot right here and it's working really well with these jeans. I was able to get a stacked size, which is kind of nice, right? Especially for $24.99. When you're buying jeans that cheap, sometimes it's tough to stack when you're a taller guy. But uh, this is nice and I'm liking how the fabric, the denim feels, it's a nice weight and I'm looking forward to breaking these in. But first we gotta get through the rest of these boots. Let's move on over to an Arto. All right, here we have an Arto. This is an ostrich leg boot from Escambia Boot Company. And it's a black cherry color with a inch and a half heel. It comes up 13 inches tall. Whew, good looking boot here with that color and everything. And it's working again. I think this is going to be a great jean with every kind of boot that we've 
looking at here today. And also, it kind of feels like this jean has that go nuts over Wrangler butts sort of feeling. I mean, it feels like it's popping right now, um, <laughs> which might be nice. I mean, those girls, they're all about the Wrangler butts. You guys know, you guys know, you guys know. <laughs> so it's kind of feeling good around the waist, around my butt and around my thighs. I wish there was a little bit more motion here. That's the only thing that I'm kind of feeling like I'm held back a little bit if I needed to, you know, jump up in the back of a truck or something. Uh, I kind of feel like that's one thing that some cheap jeans just don't do right. I had the same issue with the redhead jeans from Bass Pro Shops. So we'll see how they break in though. Let's move on over to a J-Toe. All right, here we have a J-Toe cowboy boot. This is a BNV water buffalo calf boot with that J-Toe. It's got about an inch and five eighths heel and it comes up about 13 inches tall. It's got my brand in there. Love these boots. Very, very nice. This toe shape is so underrated, guys. And these boots usually go with every kind of jean that I try. And here again, it looks great. This is one of those jeans that I feel like you could work in if you wanted to, um, but also, it's gonna go really well with some of these dress type boots as well, the exotics. They didn't have as many colors. This wasn't my first choice. I kind of wanted a darker wash, a darker color, but they were sold out of the 32, 36s. And I hope that they are not running out because it seems like a nice jean at a nice price. Maybe people are catching on and really, really going after this jean right now. So. If you catch this video and they're kind of running low on your sizes, maybe email them and say, hey, make sure you restock this jean because it feels nice and it looks pretty good for 25 bucks, right? Now let's try this with a, oh geez, what's next? How about a snip toe? All right, here's our snip toe boot. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Black Cherry Cayman Tail Boot. Isn't black cherry such a cool color? This one also has about an inch and a half Heel and it comes up about 13 inches tall. These are looking great with these jeans. And a lot of these boots I have discount codes for. So check them out at the links in the description. I have discount codes for about six of them, six out of the eight. So if you guys are seeing any boots that you like, I have videos to them all. They're all linked up in the description. You can seriously binge on all of these videos. Um, let me know what you guys think of this look. I think it works. I think that this is a dress boot that kind of requires a little bit <laughs> different kind of jean than this, but at the end of the day, it still works. I mean, maybe a darker color would work even better. Now, let's try this with a narrow square toe. All right, here we have a narrow square toe example. This is a cobra skin boot, snake skin, cobra skin from Cowtown and it also features about an inch and a quarter heel and it comes up about 10 inches tall. This is another boot that's short and has a wide opening, really wide tops, kind of like those Ariat Ropers. So you might run into an issue here where the, the tops kind of suck up that jean there and you get a bucket effect, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, you know, I've seen worse. It might get worse throughout the day uh, overall, I think that sometimes it's not as good to stack jeans when you have shorter top boots, just because you can get an effect like that. It just kind of looks sloppy, right? And when you're wearing a nice boot like this, and then your jeans sort of sag into the tops, it just sort of takes away from the whole effect. So I'm not so much, I'm not so much a fan of this look, um, but if you kind of want to stray away from that, just don't stack, like just buy a shorter size. Or you could roll the cuffs up a little bit, I guess. Now, let's try it with a French toe. All right, here's a French toe example. This is a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly boot with about an inch and a half heel, and it comes up about 12 inches tall. This is another boot, just like that Cayman tail boot from Yeehaw Cowboy, where I feel it's really dressy for this jean. 
If you are going to do this, you might want a darker color. I don't really think that this looks the best, although it can work if you need it to, right? It gets the job done. I just don't feel like the jeans are living up to the potential that the boots sort of put out in the world. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Now let's finish this off and try these jeans with a wide square toe boot with a double stitched welt. All right, here's our wide square toe with a double stitched welt example. This is an Anderson Bean full quill ostrich boot, model number S1099. Has about an inch and a quarter block heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. I think this works, you know? Sometimes with the uh, exotics, these weren't quite working, but with the color and the wide square toe being a little bit more casual of a style, you know, I think that it works well with this color and this type of jean, this fit around the bottom of the boot. You know, one of the things that I really like about this jean is that it stops exactly where I like it on the bottom of the boots. I like to show off the heel and I like to show off as much of the foot as possible. I don't want to cover it up with a crazy boot cut kind of jean and then try to stack it and then be walking on my jeans all day. That's not my style. Um, I mean, I guess you could do that for $25. Jeez. So if you wanted to, I guess you could cut these a little bit. But otherwise, I like where they're standing and stopping on these boots right, right where I like them. It's really, really cool. Overall, I think this is a great feeling jean, a great fitting jean, especially around the thighs, around the butt, and around the waist. But I wanna know what you guys think. What was your favorite pairing? Let me know down in the comments. All right, I got a couple of quick final thoughts about these jeans before we close it out. I wore these jeans all weekend long and then put them in the washer and dryer just to see how they shrunk up. And it's not bad, you know? I did get some shrinking in length and they shrunk back down so they were still you know, kind of tight around my thighs and my waist, but you know, that's just the fit of these jeans. They are very form-fitting, at least for me, around the thighs and the waist and the butt, which might be a good thing, you know? Overall, I think they look pretty okay with many of the boots that we looked at today. I think that it's a $25 jean that looks kind of like it was $25. In the future, I wanna do a video about all of the $25 jeans and under that I've done videos on. And I'd have to say that this one ranks sorta of towards the top, but it's not nearly the best. I still think the best one for me are the Kirkland jeans that you can get. And those are even cheaper than these. I have much more range of motion in those Kirkland jeans. They fit very similarly, except I get a little bit more room in the thighs. and there's the same amount of sizes too, it seems like, if not more. But I wanna know your thoughts, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Wrangler five star doesn't go that far. Maybe four stars if I'm being hard. But for what you pay, it goes with most boots from day to day. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Wrangler jeans video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.